I realize we don't do well enough for children, for, for students or whatever, is teach them how to fail effectively. We give them problem sets that they're guaranteed that have direct answers and they can get the correct answer. We even give them PhDs where, where they're more or less guaranteed to at least come to some conclusion. But in the real world of research and business and many other things, you may find that you have to learn how, well, the question I was asking was really not a good question. How can I use what I've already accumulated to nevertheless provide me something useful, maybe ask a different question and go around? And so I think the training to fail effectively, namely to find that the thing you were trying to show was wrong, but nevertheless, the process by which you discover that is very useful and can be useful somewhere else. It's a central part of science, but I actually think it's probably very useful again in real life. When I learned about entrepreneurs, I asked, I asked that physicists who'd become entrepreneurs what they hadn't learned, and it was just that, how to fail effectively.